Okay, hi there guys, I am Bill and today we're gonna do something special as you can probably already see from the screen. Because we're gonna let's play Super Mario 64 Switch version. Hell yeah. Nintendo finally heard everyone's pleas for mercy and here we are. 2020 has brought us Super Mario 64 HD version, Super Mario Sunshine HD version and Super Mario Galaxy 1 HD version. All three of these incredible games are now in one package with the Super Mario 3D All-Stars collection. And what is even cooler is that they included the soundtracks. So you can listen to these freaking hundreds of tracks here at any time when you want to. There we go, Little Lavaland, go! And the only caveat with this collection is that it's only gonna be available physically for a limited time. So if you want this in your collection physically, then you should hurry up and get it already because they are gonna stop selling this after 2021 March. So yeah, this is gonna be a limited release physically. But enough about that. Today we're gonna dive into Super Mario 64. What a legendary game. One of the greatest games of all time. One of my favorite games of all time as well. And um, we have English, UK, Australia. That's the language we're gonna do here. And let's just jump in there. Hell yeah. Wait for it. Mario. It's a me, Mario. Here we go. This game, when it came out in 96, well, 97 in Europe and uh, USA, this game just utterly freaking revolutionized a lot of stuff in gaming. Here we go, select file. It showed everyone how to do freaking 3D platformer. It's so incredible, like Nintendo were masters of 2D platformers, then they put out this game and it's like, wow, you guys really knocked it out of the park straight away. This game is just amazing, it still holds up really well today, and it's, it's a prime example of how to do open world platforming game, absolutely. No freaking question about it. So here we go, the plumber emerges and the adventure starts. Ciao, you've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. Press B to jump and Y to attack. Press A to read signs to use the left stick to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. So. So one thing that makes this game so good is the controls. Look at this. You can just somersault all over the place. You can do freaking backflips. You can do long jumps. You can do triple jumps. You can do all kinds of stuff. And the controls, in my opinion, are still kind of unrivaled. They are just so damn good. And here we go, the cameraman. Good afternoon, the Lucky Two Brothers here, reporting live from just outside the princess's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. A seasoned cameraman will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle with the right stick. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll bust. To take a look at the surrounding, stop and tilt. Right stick forward, press B to resume play, switch camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lucky Two Brothers. And that is that is kind of interesting that like the first character you meet in the game is the freaking cameraman. This is one of the first games that had like a like a fully 3D open world game that has a camera that you can actually rotate around the character. And yes, there are some issues with the camera, but it's still like, what a great idea, why shouldn't you be able to freaking rotate the camera? You absolutely should. Especially in these kind of games where platforming is 
hard. Welcome no one's home. Now get lost and don't come back. <laughs> Good lord, Bowser, you freaking ass bag. Get off my freaking grill. Am I glad to see you, the princess and I, and well, everybody. We're all trapped inside the castle walls. Bowser has stolen the castle stars, and he's using their power to create his own world in the paintings and walls. Please recover the power stars. As you find them, you can use their power to open the doors that Bowser has sealed. There are four rooms on the first floor, starting the one with the painting of bob -omb inside. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. Blah blah blah, when you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. The princess must be inside, well... Based on the previous Mario games, the princess will not be inside the first friggin' thing. But okay, here we are, we're at the lobby, and... There's a lot of places where you can't go. And one thing that is great game design here is that... It takes power of three stars to open this door. You need three more stars. That's what they've done. They've just put the star and the number straight on the door. So even if you don't freaking know how to read English or any other language, whatever, you can still kind of figure out that, okay, three, that's what you need to do. You need three stars. So this is the only place you can actually go, the Bob Omb Battle Field. Big bob -omb on the summit. The first mission of this freaking game. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First talk to the bob -omb buddy, press A to talk. He will certainly help you out and so will his friends in other areas. To read signs, stop, face them and press A. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing A. Okay. Watch out, if you wander around here, you're liable to be splattered by a water bomb. Those enemy bob -omb's love to fight, and they're always finding ways to attack. This meadow has become a battlefield ever since the big bob -omb got his paws on the power star. Well, I don't think he has paws, though. He's not a cat. Can you recover the star for us? Cross the bridge and go left and up the path to find the big bob -omb. Please come back to see me after you retrieve the power star. Will do, Rogers. Hey you, it's dangerous ahead, so listen up. Maggot, take my advice, cross the two bridges ahead, then watch for falling water bombs. The big bar bomb at the top of the mountain is very powerful. Don't let him grab you. We're bar -bomb buddies and we're on your side. You can talk to us whenever you like to. Well, I'm not sure I want to talk to you guys anymore because you're just going to repeat the same stuff over and over again. I'm pretty sure. There we go. So this is the first level of the freaking game. First mission of the game. And well, first off, the music's great. Water bombs. I'm not sure why, why they are shooting water bombs when they have actual friggin' bombs here. But for some reason, that's the thing. Whoa. But it's just a green meadow, and I actually remember seeing this in a video game store. My friend tried the game, and I was like, what the hell? How was it? And they were like, meh, whatever. And I was like, god, I wish I was the one trying out the game. But I just had to wait until we actually got the console months and months and months and months later. But that's how it goes. So the music's great. The controls are super great. Look at this. You can just be freaking doing whatever you want. It's so responsive. It's so freaking acrobatic. This is what games should have more. They should have acrobatic platforming. Absolutely. I'm still kind of amazed how good, good the controls are. Even freaking years and years and years later. That's definitely my favorite move, just to do the bing bing bing. Side somersault. I also like the backflip. The backflip's cool. 
because it uh, lets you jump really high. Okay. First boss, first mission of the game. I'm the big Bob Omb, Lord of all blasting matter, King of Kabooms, the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set a foot on my imperial mountain top? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp, and you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think that you cannot. Well, that's, first of all, that's very rude of you to assume that I can't do things. And who are you freaking to claim this place as your own, you freaking geezer? And third, why are you giving away your secrets? He's basically saying that you know how to beat him. But what's the point in that? I, I don't know. But yeah, first boss in the game and it's very easy. Very easy. Just go behind him, pick him up, and there you go. Which is gonna be foreshadowing though. Just a second you'll see what the foreshadowing is. What? Can it be that the pipsqueak like you has defused the Babam King? I didn't see you even freaking being on like lead up or anything. You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here is your star as I promised Mario. If you want to see me again, select this star from the menu. For now, farewell. Bye. So there you go. First mission of the game and he already referenced Bowser and grabbing him by the tail. That's pretty funny that, hey, wait a minute. They actually give you tips on how to beat the final boss of the game in the first mission of the game? That is so funny. That's great. You recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor and the room with the painting of Womp's Fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. Will do. Absolutely, we are gonna be searching for more. So, we have some options now. There's one star door over there, but uh, we're gonna go to slide. And this slide is pretty sneaky. The game has 120 stars total. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. So, there's 120 stars in the game, and this was the final one that I actually got. Because this slide is sneaky Macbone Sneakenstein. Look at this. Hey, come on. Welcome to Princess Toadstool's secret slide. There's a star hidden here that Bowser couldn't find. When you slide, tilt forward to speed up, pull back to slow down. If you slide really fast, you will win the star. But this is like this is not the best game design in my opinion. Because you're gonna win a star no matter what you do. And if you do this really fast, then you're gonna win an extra star. But the game just gives you those hints and that's it. And it's like, um... Why are you getting like a star even if you do this like slowly? There should be some sort of freaking signifier. Okay, pretty good time, 20 and 1. You have to do it under 21, I think. So, this box here has a star, which you can get anyway, and this is the speedy star. And also what is not good game design here is that when you grab either one of them, you're gonna go back here. So you can't grab both of them at the same time. Which doesn't make any sense. You should be able to grab the secret star, then save, and then grab the normal star and then exit. But for some reason, you can't. You have to do this twice. 
So yeah, that's that's a little blundering game design in my opinion. And you can jump over the friggin' guardrail over there. And that's gonna give you like a super fast time, but uh, I can't remember how to do it. You have to practice it. So if you want the fastest time possible, then you gotta jump over the thing. Can we get... Yes, 19 and 9. Hell yeah. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good if you get 19, so... There we go. Masterful performance, as usual. Okay, so this is the normal star that you get. Doesn't matter what you do, you can get this normal star. And here we are, okay. We have three stars. You will recover three power stars. Now you can open any door with a three on each star. You can come and go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. Oh no, they are gonna be even meaner. God damn it, yo. Well, let's see what's over here. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. Okay, so there's a course over here. But there's also something very interesting. Come on, man. Can we get over there? Yeah, this is where the camera can be a little... A little annoying. That it goes all over the place. I guess Lucky to has some limitations where it can be. And here we go. Another secret star in the castle. So you have the normal stars in the courses and then you have secret stars in the castle and this is one of them. So you gotta pay attention inside the worlds and also in the castle. And this is one of the red coin stars so you gotta gather eight red coins and that's gonna give you... That is gonna give you a star. And the oxygen goes down as you're in water or underwater, but you can get it back by gathering some coins, which is a cool mechanic. It gives you an incentive to actually gather the coins and also gives you oxygen, so it's a two for one pretty good mechanic, in my opinion. There we go. So once you gather the uh, eight red coins, then a star will appear at this sort of place where you have the like the shadow on the ground. And the same goes for other levels, even the normal levels as well. Okay, there we go. Secret star again. And we have four. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna jump over here. To the one door. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens again for the billionth time. Ow. So, this is gonna be the second level, course two. Womp's Fortress, chip off Womp's block. Hello, the Lakitu Brothers cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is this, he has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. And wrapping up filming techniques reported on earlier, you can take a look around by tilting right stick. Pull right stick back to view the action from a distance. When you can't move the camera any further, the buzzer will sound. This is the Lakitu Brothers signing off. So basically, you can press up on the camera and you can have like a first perspective, well almost. Like you can just look around with the camera and then if you press back, then you're gonna have a further away view. And if you press R, you're gonna have a really close up view of Mario, which is not recommended if you have any sort of like freaking motion sickness issues or any kind of other issues. It's it's pretty nauseating to play the game like this, good lord. 
I never, I didn't even remember they had that option in the game, good lord. What? They have like a, they have like a far away version of this? I didn't know that. So if you press R, and then press back, then the camera is actually gonna uh, like, uh, keep behind Mario. I did not know that, good lord. And I played through this game like how many times? I don't know. But that is, that is new information to me, good lord. And that's probably why we freaking got kicked out of there, Jesus. Let's try again. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely used to the, like the normal camera more than that directly behind camera. Hey, 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 hey! Let's not let's not go there. And another funny thing in this game is that uh, the, all the missions have names, and they're like clues of what you need to do in the mission. So this is like cheap cheap off Womp's block or something like that. So. Go and uh, fight the Wompster, the big Wompadoodle at the top of this place. So let's just try to get up there. And the fancier you try to do it, then the more chances you have of freaking falling down as usual. So maybe we should just wait. I was actually trying to jump, but uh. I always press it too late at this point and then I fall down. But there we go. This is the small Wompadoodle. There we go. Small. There's the big Wompster. And a little shortcut. It makes me so mad. We build your houses and your castles. We pave your roads and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp. Huh. Ow. Oh. oh my god, we, we got... We got freaking stuck underneath him, Jesus. That was that was tragic. So these bosses are so rude, they're like calling you Pipsqueak and Wimp and all sorts of names, like good lord yo. So rude and inconsiderate. No, crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel, I mean grovel. Here you win, take this with you. Yes, I'm gonna take it with me. Very nice. There we go. First star of Womp's Fortress. Okay, cool. We're up to five stars now. Might as well do another one here. Because that's gonna show off another cool game mechanic. To the top of the fortress. Okay, so we gotta get to the top of the thing again. So what's what's the point? We already were at the top of the thing, but this is what is so great about this game. That as you can see, it's now different. Depending on what mission you take, then they actually change the level, and that is a great idea to have in these sort of games. That you can use the same environment multiple times and then depending on what level you are doing then it's just gonna have different features in it. So again, just another aspect of why this game is so cool. That every mission is gonna have different stuff going on here. The level's gonna be pretty much pretty much the same basically, but not quite. So this mission has us climb, oh god. Hey, 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 come on. Has us climb up this, um, this tower with the protruding ledges and stuff. Pretty basic. 
nothing too hard the game's like okay these are just beginner baby levels so uh just enjoy the casual platforming and yes we are there we go six stars okay we can move on to something else now and uh, we're gonna move on over here Three star door, what lies behind it? It's gonna be the snow world. The snowy snow world, cool, 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 cool mountain slips sliding away. Snow mountain summit, watch for slippery conditions. Please enter the cottage first. Straight away, it's like, hey, go into the cottage. Santa Claus isn't the only one who can go down a chimney. Come on in, cabin proprietor. Okay. We can go in there. But we need a friend. Penguin! There we go. And we lost the penguin already. God damn it. And as you can uh, probably already know from the music, the crazy freaking carnival music, it's a slide. Slide mission, basically. And there's a lot of coins here, so if you're trying to get that hundred... Uh, hundred coin star in this level, then you basically just wanna... There we go. You wanna do the slide first, so you can gather all these coins. And as you can see, there's an arrow, and it's like, hey, there's something up there. But how do you get up there, exactly? Good question. And we have a giant penguin over here. Hey, God, my baby. Where have you seen my baby? She's the most precious baby in the whole wild world. They say she has my beak, and I just can't remember where I left her. Let's see, I stopped for herring and ice cubes. Then, oh, I just don't know. Herring and ice cubes? What are you, Swedish? Good lord. Swedish penguin. Here we go. Confirmed. Okay, there we go. Course 4, slip sliding away. Save and continue. Okay, we have one more basic course in this section to check out, so let's go there. And it is over here. This is the ship level. And the dynamic or the mood of this course is very different to the other ones. Plunder in the sunken ship, course 3, Jolly Roger Bay. This is actually course 3. Yeah, you can you can uh, hear from the music that this is much more calmer atmosphere in this level, which which suits this uh, this water diving level really well. And I, I like in this HD version that they have like the freaking fog going on. Fog is just hovering on top of the uh, the water, makes this look even cooler. And there we go, we're gonna get a little turtle shell action and dive straight down here. So plunder the ship, that is basically the theme of this uh, mission. But how can we get in there when there's a freaking giant eel waiting in the ship? That's what you're gonna ponder and then you're gonna go up to get some oxygen. Because your power is going down at all. Oh, good lord. Either get some coins or go up for oxygen. Enjoy the view. And as we're going downwards, oh, what has happened? The eel is now loose. The eel has abandoned its little hidey hole in the ship. And we can actually go inside the ship now. This is, this is a great way to kind of troll the player, like, well, how am I supposed to get in there? Because there's a giant eel in here. Then you're gonna go do something else, and then when you look back down, 
you're like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Freaking game developers just trolled you hard. So basically inside this ship, um, there's a little oxygen bucket over here. So when you need oxygen, then just come over here. And there's four chests and you need to... Um, you need to touch these in the correct order. I think this is the first one. Okay. And it's gonna give you oxygen, which is really nice. Very nice mechanic. Doesn't punish you, it actually rewards you that, hey, you got the right one. Okay. We're gonna get them all in order. Well, that's... that's lucky. Oh. And as you can see, the water is now starting to lower here. What is going on? And if you want to do this as easily as possible, you want to you wanna swim up here. And that's going to save you a little bit of headache because it is a slanted surface. So trying to get up here can be a pain. But if you just swim here while the water is lowering, then you are going to have an advantage. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Blanda in the sunken ship. You've recovered eight of the power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star. But Bowser is just ahead. Can you hear the princess calling? I can actually hear the princess calling, but... But, 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 we are two stars away from something very nice happening, and that's what we're going to do. We are going to do... A little more bob on battlefield action. We just need two stars, and then something cool happens. Foot race with Copa the Quick. Okay, first of all, we want to talk to this guy over here. We're peace-loving bob so we don't use the cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare all of the cannons in this course for you to use. Bon voyage. Yeah, bon voyage. Ready for blast off. Come on, hop into the cannon. You can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use the left stick to aim, then press B to fire. If you're handy, you can grab onto trees or poles to land. Yep, you sure can, but that's not the mission. Hey Mario, is it true that you beat the big bob -omp? Cool! You must be strong and pretty fast. So how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me? Copa the quick? I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the mountain top where the big bob -omp was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? Go! You wanna race me? Turtle boy. Let's see how that's gonna work out for you. Probably not very well. Oh, that is scary. That is a scary ass bolo. Oh my god. God damn it. And now the developers have added another ball here. In the first level it's just two balls, now it's three giant freaking metal balls trying to grind you to dust. That's how they try to keep you on your toes. And yes, there's a teleport if you get in that little crevice there. But we're not gonna do that. Because we are all about sportsmanship. And not dirty cheaters. Well, oops, there we go. Haha, <laughs> 57 and 9. Who's the man? Boyoings, who's a pancake? Yep. It's a me, Pancake Man, yes. Mario is the Pancake Man. Okay, Copa the Quick, where are you? You're supposed to be quick. You don't seem very quick. You seem like a turtle. Wow, you really are fast. A human blur. 
Here you go, you want it, fair and square. Damn right I freaking want it. Enjoy my gloriousness. Tour la bug. Okay, there we go. One more star. One more star. Shoot to the island in the sky. Okay. This is more like it. So, the game has cannons, and if you talk to the pink bobombs, then you can unlock the cannons in the stage. And uh, you can use these cannons to shoot yourselves into all kinds of interesting places. And if you shoot at a tree, then Mario's actually gonna grab that tree. So, trees are great points to shoot yourself at. Because they will stop your momentum, basically. And this mission's idea is that you're gonna get up to this island up here, and there's four cannons around. But the very easy way to get up here is just to aim straight up. From this ground cannon over here, and... Bongs! We did it! Hell yeah! Sometimes if you pass through a coin ring or find a secret point in a course, a red number will appear. If you trigger five red numbers, a secret star will show up. Yeah, so the game has... Secret stars, but they are gonna be numbered uh, at the start of the level. When you put on the wing cap that comes from a red block, do the triple jump to soar high into the sky. Use the left stick to guide Mario. Pull back to fly up, tilt forward to nose down, and press CL to land. Well, this thing is empty though, but not for long, because we are gonna go investigate the wing cap immediately after this. So there we go, now we have 10 stars. And that is gonna trigger something very interesting in the lobby, because, look at this. What is this? There's light coming up, and your first in instinct as a player is gonna be, what's going on there? And then the game just transfers you straight into here. Welcome to the wing cap course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all of the red blocks you find will become solid. Try out the wing cap, do the triple jump to take off and press CL to land. Pull back on the left stick to go up and tilt forward to nose down, just as you would when flying an aeroplane. Yes, so this wing cap lets you fly, which is freaking great. And uh, this level does have 8 red coins, so you're gonna try to get them as best as you can. But sometimes it doesn't work. Let's just get this first. Let's get this. Okay, there we go. You stepped on the wing cap switch. Wearing the wing cap, you can soar through the sky. Now, wing caps will pop out of all the red blocks you find. Would you like to save? Yes. Hell yes, I would. So there you go. Now you can... Now you can do a little flying action at will. And as you can see, we barely got that one, so we're gonna have to do another try. Back over here, look up and try again. Here we go, let's try to get all these red coins here. This does get a little kind of like a more challenging because as you're going downwards, then you are gonna be picking up more speed. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can go around. There we go. If you miss, then you can definitely go around and kind of like uh, calm the situation a little bit. But eight red coins. Cheatings. We did it. Eleven stars. 
Hell yeah. Let's see what we have. We have three from Bob on Battlefield, two from Womp's Fortress, one from Jolly Roger Bay, one from Cool Cool Mountain, and four secret stars. <laughs> 